Well, ugh, I don't fall down. Uh, got it all tacked up. The back side's actually fully welded. I need to go through and fully weld the front side, but for the most part, that's all done ish. Uh, got to come up here, clean up a few more spots. Well, the outside of it, let that cool down. I got to dig out the old buzz box back there because I got to use the nickel rod to weld this all in. And I ain't stick welded in quite some time, so we're going to see how all that goes. But uh, yeah, that's, and then once I'm done with all that, this little guy here, I got to do some more grinding and then that'll go. Think like that but i gotta grind that rib off and then drill it and tap it and all that fun stuff so uh progress right that's what we want all right it is hot in here according to that it's like uh almost 80. you walk back here where uh i've been i've been i've been making more heat i have not stick welded and I don't even know how long. But, uh, got the torch in there, keeping it somewhat warm, so slowly cooling it back down. I ran out of map gas on the other one. Because it's got to heat everything up so I can weld it. And, yeah, there's three passes all the way around. Some of them do not look pretty. Don't look at those ones. But, uh, yeah, I'll clean, I'll clean some of it up with a grinder, but I'm not going to clean up a lot of it because it's going to be under the car. You're not going to see it, but I'll know. So I took a couple pictures. I'll put them in at the end of the video. <coughs> uh, that's the Hiltzy kit installed on a Ford 8.8. I had to drill a hole over here for that bolt, which I just went ahead and welded in because that nut's not coming back off. Uh, it is fully welded on the back side at all, on all the seams. And it's welded on the front side, which I forgot to weld there, so I gotta weld that. But that's with the MIG welder, that's not a big deal. Um, what else? That is, yeah, I, I, that's pretty much it. Um, the instructions, where'd they go? Are honestly, I, they don't get any clearer. I mean, you know, do this, do that, do this, do that, and don't do that, and then that's what it's supposed to look like. And uh, I think that's pretty close. So I am at the point now where I kind of need the car or another rear end so I can get the rest of the brackets and yeah and then once this is done I get to uh, hopefully send it off to uh, well I know it's going off to get sandblasted for sure I don't know if I'm a powder coated or not I might but of course if I'm going to powder coat it I cannot do it anything else to it because he's got to bake it and I don't want the seals and stuff in it when he bakes it so I don't know let me know your thoughts um, I did ooh yeah yeah <laughs> pretty um, I got these for it some 799 Came up locally on Marketplace and it was a deal I couldn't really pass up, so they're better than what's on the car. Slightly more compression, a little bit better flow, not really much, but now all I need is everything else. Cam, lifters, all that fun stuff. But I need to stop getting carried away because we are going to, why is it so close? I can't see my we're going to be trying to go to the fastest of the fast race yet again um, in North Carolina. Uh, I did order 
new gears to the truck because I want to change up the gearing. Um, I'm putting a bigger kit on it. It has a, a NOS Big Shot on it now. And I'm going, as of right now, because I don't want to go through and do a fogger system. I believe it is going to get a Negatives Express uh, billet crossbar plate. Which I can go up to a 500 shot on that. Um, I'm probably only going to go 400. Uh, they say the bottom end's good for 5. I feel like I'm pushing it with a 300 shot. But that will be... Stay tuned for that one too. So, yeah. Um, Till next time. If it was easy, everybody would do it.